January 3rd, 2020. I cracked this baby open for the first time. And in my first sitting, I read 24 pages. Now it's back to work. Lunch is over. reach 122 and when I tell y'all this is a ride I'm gonna need something light from my shelf after finishing this one cuz oh wow and it's still so much to go <laughs> um, what's up I'm getting some in the car reading done before I head into this library my friend who is a librarian is hosting her first book club meeting and we're about to discuss red at the bone by jacqueline woodson so i came here directly from work so and i'm early so hence reading in the car what's up y'all it's friday and I just checked out the last clip <laughs> and I've only read 20, about 20 pages, maybe 25 pages since Tuesday, the last clip before this one, but it's the weekend. I have been listening to uh, another book, so I'm still getting my reading done. I just haven't really picked this one up all week, but we're going to give it a go this week. where I am so far today y'all I have not been reading this book before bed only during lunch and a little bit after work because the other night I read this book before bed and it was not good it's like so much going on and y'all I'm on the edge of my seat for real this is a lot a lot a lot I got less than a hundred pages to go, but I've been kind of in the slump for the past few days and haven't really read anything. Hopefully that will change. That is it. I finished it tonight at the nail shop. And OMG. OMG. Mm. Mm. me and I hope I sound clear um, I'm having some sinus issues going on but 
the show must go on, right? Um, it's been a week since I finished this here. And my goodness, this is an American classic. Modern classic is what this says on here. But y'all, if you have not read Native Son, read Native Son. Um, I'm not even sure if I can intelligently discuss what is packed in these pages. Um, if you don't know, it's a story of bigger. It is the 30s in Chicago. Um, bigger is 20 years old and he and his family moved to Chicago when he was 15 years old. Um, bigger gets a job um, and he's going to be the driver for this affluent white family in Chicago and some events happen um, I'm sure I mean what this it's not a secret but I went into this book knowing very very little um, I just knew it was a classic and um I had heard some of the story here and there, um, but as you can see, and I mentioned already how anxious it had me and what happens to Bigger, and um, he ends up killing someone, I'll say that, um, not on purpose, but that doesn't matter when you are a black man in the 1930s, Chicago and the victim is white so yeah what i especially loved about this particular um edition of it is it includes um uh, chronology in the back of it uh, for richard wright's life and then there's a section called how bigger was born in which um, Richard Wright discusses how basically how this book came about the character bigger and how it came about um, if y'all have read this and y'all want to discuss it with spoilers and all in the comment section please please do you know let's do that I just don't want to do it in the video you know what I'm saying um, what I will say is this book was released in March of 1940. It's fiction, but it tells a story. It tells the mindset um, of men like Bigger. And uh, it is so disheartening to say this, but men like Bigger still exist today with the mentality that they have. Uh, some have, I'm not saying by any means, this is not a generalization of black men at all, but young people who are not educated properly, who have, um, the lack of education, living in poverty, um, it causes, it's, it's a mental thing and, I don't know how to describe it, but the other day, um, Kevin and I was watching um, the first 48, and if you're familiar with that, um, how that goes, and they get the um, young black boy in the interrogation room, and the little, the young black boy, he couldn't have been 18 years old, but he had killed someone. And he just was like, I didn't mean to do it. And Bigger says, I didn't want to kill. Bigger shouted. But what I killed for I am, it must have been pretty deep in me to make me kill. And and I just thought about that. I just thought about Bigger when I was watching that episode. And oh, it just unpacked so much. And yeah, this this is enough. I'm of enough rambling. Um I hope you all enjoyed this reading journal 
and I will do more throughout the year. It is my hope to pick one book each month and do a complete journal of it as I go That's through the That's it for now, y'all. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.